Good morning, everyone. I'm Helen from Georgia. I'm out here in my yard with my coffee. I, I didn't, I didn't bring y'all any again because I was out here working in my yard. It rained yesterday. It not like when I was at the at that lake up there, but it rained. And everything is wet and the ground is softer. And I've been out here working, digging, uh, planting stuff and having, well, I didn't come out to do that. I came out to look around like I do every morning. I come outside and I walk around and I look at my yard and see what's what and a lot to keep up your by yourself. When I used I used to keep all that stuff cut over there. I'll, I'll turn the camera around there and let y'all see. You could see my pond easy, but now I'll turn it around that way. don't think y'all can see that. Oh, yes, you can. It's, it's grown up and it's got stuff growing everywhere. I cannot keep it all cut. And this is part of my yard. It looks good since I got the grass cut. <laughs> That's my gardenia down there. It's still blooming and it's you see how big it is? It's a giant tree. But anyway, okay, I'm I'm back. I had to go change the battery before I ever even got started. The battery got the blinking, so I had to go take it and get a new one and put it in there. I'm having my coffee out here. This is my Georgia cup. I hope y'all having coffee with me this morning. And drink it the way you like it. It's a beautiful overcast day. It's not raining right now. <laughs> I'll say that. It's not raining right now. But I, I was telling y'all, I came out this morning and I was, this, was looking around and I said, well, all this stuff over here is growed up and it's needs cleaning out and I've already planted some flower seeds. I come out when it's wet and it's just rained and stuff to get uh stuff that I that I want to do. <laughs> uh uh and some people have asked me to show them my yard and show some of my things around here and so I was out here digging and stuff and I said well I think I'm gonna go in there and get my camera out and video a little bit of my yard work and let everybody see some of this stuff I do around here <laughs> it's a it's here and there and that you know I I'm just uh I'm just doing all kind of stuff it's, it's, it's no end to things they are to do. I just have to do what I can and let the rest go. But let me have a sip of coffee before it gets too cold. And this is one of my uh, butterfly bushes. It's kind of bloomed out a little, but it, it'll keep blooming all summer. It just is not as full bloomed as it, as it has been. But I was over there digging, and I was going to let y'all watch me dig <laughs> if y'all want to. <laughs> I know that's not nothing that, that you want to see, but I'm just going to, and another thing, I'm going to trim some of my shrubbery. It's, you know, shrubbery does not stay nice and neat and pretty. It just gets like just going and going out 
and up and everywhere, like everything else. These, I planted some little old flowers over here. I don't even know what they are. It's on a little running vine. It has a little purple bloom about that big around, if y'all can see that. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the name It runs. It's got everywhere over there. I mean, it takes over wherever you put it. It just does there's no end to where it, it goes and the roots and all that stuff. So, while it's not raining, I'm going to let y'all see uh, a little bit of what I do around here. I, I was going to show y'all my... Uh, I'm going to... I'll walk out here and I planted some stuff out here where it, where that tree fell. Y'all know that tree uh, fell out there and I can't move it. It's humongous. <laughs> but I can't move it. Not yet. Until it de deteriorates a little more. I might can prize it and pull it and get some pieces off there. Uh, if, if I live that long, I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling you, when when you got uh, like more than a little yard, I have a big yard. I have a big woods over there, over there, back there. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. And this kind of weather, uh oh, I failed to drop a water on my hand. I don't would not be surprised at all if it starts raining. So I probably need to go ahead on and show y'all a few things and then I'll dig if, if it's not raining. Let me have another sip of coffee. Y'all know my camera can't get wet. Okay. I'm going to go down here. See how my yard looks? It looks so pretty since it got cut. Thank you, Rusty and Lisa. How sweet y'all are. Uh-oh. I need to bring my clippers down here and... See how everything grows up. Oh my goodness, y'all. There's my pond. It's the water's about gone. It's it's got hot and dry. I used to keep all this stuff cut. Okay, here's part of that big tree. Okay, there's uh, I planted this right here where this tree fell and where the roots were. I got another squash. Oh, and I see some more little ones. Can y'all see them? There's one. And there.
get to those or not. They're down there. I'm going to pick that big one because it's ready. Okay. Is that not pretty? Oh. You know what I'm going to do? It's the only one I got. I'm going to... Uh, Cut it up and fry it like little squash circles and put uh I put uh I peel them and then I put salt and pepper on them and then I put flour and meal on my squash and I keep hearing something sounds like raindrops. Okay, I'm going to go back up to the house. I'll, I'll show y'all my... Y'all know my apple tree had blooms on it and it had apples on it. But you know what? The squirrels ate them up, every one of them. And this was a... This was an apple tree. I mean, it is an apple tree. <laughs> and it, uh, the squirrels got them too. I don't know. They, they some, uh, some eating squirrels around here. I'll show y'all my scuffling vines that I trim back. They're coming out. And, oh, let me show you. There's some little green scupnons hanging right there. You know, they all, all up in this tree. They come off of this other one. They grew, and they went up in that tree. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Okay, there's my... There's my scuffling vines that I trimmed. They're growing too. I'm telling you. They are really, really growing. There's some more. Okay. Y'all look, this is a little pear tree and it's just bent down and it's breaking and there's pears all up there. I don't think y'all can see them good but they are covered with pears. And they're about to break. And down here on the ground, uh, something is eating the ones they can get on the ground. Y'all, this airs everywhere, y'all. Little trees, not it's old, but it's not very big. There's my, my house, and look at this, look at this shrubbery, 
is way, way, way too big. I don't like it. It's too big. And my little, little rock garden. Y'all, is this, look at my, y'all, I was telling y'all about this flower. And I couldn't think of the name of it, but it's a Amanda Villa. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I've had it for, I don't, five or six or seven years. I don't know. It's in this pot, just in a little pot down here. Where is the pot? Way down here. There it is. It's in this pot, and I carry it in and keep it and coming back out in the spring. Here's another one. This is a different type right here. This is, uh, and it's blooming. Okay, y'all. This is my little rock garden that I feed the birds in. And y'all, this is, this is a eggplant. And this is a tomato. And see down there, I have a tomato. It's getting ripe. Is that not awesome? And this this is a bell pepper, and it's getting, oh, beat down with these big old tomato things. I'm, I'm going to have to do something uh, to get them off of that because I don't like the way they're taking, they're bending all that down. And, okay, here's, here's some more of my stuff. There's a gourd that I planted. I think it's a gourd. That's my some of my elephant ears that I planted. Some more tomatoes. And there's another uh, big old bush that I got to cut some of my cane or tomatoes right here Here's the tomatoes, some more tomatoes that I planted. I planted them all the way around my house, y'all. Okay, let me, I've even got some back here in pots. I can't see what I'm doing too much. There they are. Okay, I got a little patch of little watermelons. <laughs> I think they're little ones. Uh, I think they're tiny ones. Where is that little one? Oh, there it is. 
There's the little one. My camera cut off again. This is a, I think it's a gourd. I planted so many things, so many places, I can't keep up with what it was. But anyway, it's about to grow up into, a, into that tree. And here's uh, some of my elephant ears. They're pretty big already. Okay, let me go around here and This is another little pond of mine that goes dry whenever it gets hot weather and it limbs and leaves. And I think I see some little tiny fish down there. But anyway, this is this is all. that I have around here close that I walk around and see how the weeds are growing. I don't know if y'all remember it or not, but this big tree fell from over there and fell across here and I've been having to step over it to get down here and it's I'm telling you it's it's really a lot of for what person to have to do but I don't do it a lot of it I just let it go because I can't do it I can't keep up with all that Okay, y'all, this is a little dwarf pear tree. Y'all, I planted all this stuff in this yard, every single thing except that big oak tree. And this is my blueberry bushes. There, they didn't do very well this uh, year. For some reason, uh, I planted all those. That's a plum tree. That's a plum tree. And that's that big oak tree. I mean, it is a big tree. Okay, y'all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start trimming some of this because I got to put some sleeves on because this stuff makes me itch. It's every time I get around it or cut some of it, it, it makes me itch. So I'm putting on this long shirt, so, and I'm putting my gloves on. Lisa Bruce sent me some gloves that I've used so much. so sweet and thoughtful. All right. Let me have a... Let me have a sip of coffee before I start. Y'all want to come on down in Georgia and help me? <laughs> it might rain. Well, it's been raining, but it rains. It's raining a lot right now, but sometimes it's dry. It was dry, but now it's good and soaked and green and everything is so pretty. I'm going to have another little, y'all have a sip. Uh, I, did, I think I forget to tell y'all.
to please subscribe and share click the bell and thumbs up and all that stuff that's sweet that y'all do to help me i'm so thankful for all my viewers and subscribers and my puppies and my kitties and i someone told me they leave their little dog sometimes to go do things they leave my they leave my video playing for that dog is that not awesome y'all gracious i am so blessed thank y'all so much for being the sweetest people in the world okay that's enough let me get over here start cut this is this is some of my cutters they got a long handle in some of my cutters that I cut smaller something. Can y'all see that bush? Didn't I cut. This does not hurt it and Mow it out of the way. All right, here's another one. Let me get over here to it. Let me see if y'all can see. over here oh this is pretty thick okay I got a lot of that stuff cut Let me start on this now. Y'all, you may not be able to do all of it at one time. You may have to stop and rest or something, but you can get it done little by little. Y'all, it's gonna look scalped, and it is scalped. <laughs> but it'll grow back, and very fast. I might need my big one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now let
let me get on this one right here. Y'all, I was telling y'all about this flower, and I couldn't think of the name of it, but it's a Amanda Villa. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I've had it for, I don't, five or six or seven years. I don't know. It's in this pot, just in a little pot down here. There it is. It's in this pot, and I carry it in and keep it and coming back out in the spring here's another one this is a different type right here this is uh and it's blooming okay y'all i'm gonna rake uh some of it up my goodness the sun is trying to come out Okay, I got them cut. Uh-oh, I see one I missed. I got to get that one too. It won't take long. Y'all, things can just get so out of hand. So fast. I don't guess it's fast. I guess it's, we slow down and it seems fast. Or I slow down. I'm not saying y'all do. I'm saying me. Oh! I thought something was crawling on my foot. These are the shoes I had on that time. A snake crawled across my foot. And I could feel him across my foot. I could feel him 
going across my foot, but I I was so petrified. Let me see if I can show y'all my shoes. Oh, I can. You see that stump and my shoe? That that snake crawled right across there. And I hadn't forgot it either. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm back. I haven't picked up my uh, limbs that I cut off yet. Because I come around here to get my wagon. Here's another bush that I forgot. Y'all, I'm, I'm running out of energy. <laughs> oh, it's getting warm, y'all. It's still cloudy, but when you're out here doing some strenuous work, you kind of, uh, kind of get warm <laughs> but I want to thank y'all so much for watching my videos and I know this is not much of a video cutting and working in the yard but some of my viewers have asked me to do this show them around my yard and it's not much to see because it's a lot that has it hasn't got done and probably won't get done because I can only do so much. My glasses is bogging up. But I've got one more bush. And then <laughs> I'll be through uh, with what I'm going to do today. That's, I mean, these mountains of stuff still to do. All kind of stuff is growing beyond, you you would not believe, beyond, I, I mean, I don't fertilize it. It just, it just goes to growing and it don't stop. It just, it'll take over your house. That big bush right over there that I get up under whenever it's, uh, the sun shining so bright. That's one of these little bushes that I let grow up. I trimmed it up so it would bush out at the top and have some shade right there because the sun uh, comes right there. The sun comes up right over there and comes right across here and sits back there. <laughs> so uh, I'm proud of that little tree uh, because it helps shade me i have an umbrella too but it takes both of them it takes the umbrella and the sh little shade tree to keep the sun off of me but it but i wanted to take a little rest and thank y'all and say be kind to uh less fortunate people and they are people in the world that are having hard times right now that uh is this pandemic that we're having is I've never seen anything like this in my lifetime, in my 82 years. And and I'm probably gonna see a lot more that we've never seen and never heard of. And and that's happening, because I've never heard about all this stuff. And people can't uh, hug each other. They can't shake hands. They can't show I mean, I guess you can smile at someone and let them know you care and that you uh, care for them. But as far as a hug, that is really good medicine, a hug from people that, that you know, that you've been knowing a long time. And that's not happening now. And in fact, <laughs> I'm almost stifling to death with that mask on because it's around my nose, it's around my ears, it's all up here, and and I breathe 
and I'm breathing in my breath that I just let out and it's the same breath I don't I don't know that that's really good for you I like some fresh air in there to breathe instead of my own hot air uh, but that's what we got to do so I guess we're gonna have to do that all right I've rested enough let me have a sip of my coffee let me see if there's a bug in it no I don't see one <laughs> Not very warm, but I can drink it. Oh, I just saw a bird go in the birdhouse. Oh, oh, I, I get off the subject when I see a bird, y'all. All right, I'm gonna get up and cut this last uh, bush that I'm gonna cut that I have. That's all that I have. Uh, and then I'm gonna take my wagon around there that's my wagon over there. I'll let y'all see it when I start cleaning up this stuff. And I haven't got none of that uh, itchy stuff on me yet, but my neck's kind of getting sweaty and itchy. I think it has some kind of little fuzzy stuff on it. The leaves will stick to you like glue. You can pull it off, but it, it's really clingy stuff. Okay, let me put my gloves back on. It won't take me long. It won't take me long to get this little little bush cut. See, really, just snipping. I cut my butterfly bushes the other day because they were so big, they were falling over and they were pulling out of the ground. So I had to cut, cut them off, the big old heavy limbs that was on them. They are very old. Look what a big old trunk it's got. Okay. Okay, there's where I put my stuff that I'm going to burn when, it, when I gather enough stuff to burn.
Okay, I'm gonna go get another load. Okay, I've got this load that I'm pulling. Okay, y'all can't see the wagon, but it's back there. never done this before holding the camera pulling the wagon all that there's my bush oh y'all can't see it oh okay Okay, that's the stuff I got to burn, and there's a bunch of it. All right, it's my flat sunflower, y'all. Y'all, I'm totally exhausted. <laughs> I've been out here working. I don't even know what time it is, but I've been out here a while cutting stuff that I needed to cut. Uh, all these bushes that just just took a giant leap and just started growing all over everywhere. I I can't. I've been wanting to do it, but I couldn't ever think about if this was a good time and it's too hot and it's every. You know, I got to do everything else. So this morning. I came out here with my coffee. Oh, there's a little bird back there. I came out with my coffee. And I said, well, it's overcast and it's not real, real hot. I think I'll just start cutting on some of that shrubbery. And I went around, well, I was digging first. I was digging uh, and planting seeds and stuff. And I said, well, I think I'm going to go ahead on and cut that shrubbery. And people had been asking me to show them around my yard. There's not a whole lot to see. But anyway, I I was showing y'all some stuff. It's nothing beautiful. I mean, it's, it's just a yard. It's not nothing outstanding. It's just a yard that's kind of unkept, like I can't do it all. And I, I I decided to show y'all all that I could, and I decided to go ahead and cut that shrubbery and, and get that off my mind and let y'all see how easy it is. All you need is some, oh, they way over there. Oh, no, they way over there. Let me get them. I use, I use these. 
on big stuff. I, I think I bought it at Walmart. They're good. They, they, you can cut some big old stuff with that. And then I got these smaller ones for smaller limbs. They'll cut pretty good sized limbs too. Uh, and so let me get my stuff and and cut this stuff like it needs to be cut and so it'll it'll bush out between now and fall it, it'll just come all back out and thick again so uh next spring or uh sometime it'll probably have to be cut again if i'm able to cut it y'all i thought when you get old things got didn't bother you and didn't didn't have that much to do, but good gracious, it's not, it's not that way. If, if you do, if you do everything you need doing, you will never have no time for nothing. And my YouTube stuff, I got to, I got to have my YouTube thing, and it takes me uh, time on it, editing and stuff that I, I do. I, I don't let y'all see all the old stuff that doesn't matter much. I let y'all see a lot that doesn't matter, but I cut out a lot of it that, you know, doesn't have to be in there to make it a little shorter. But I'm so blessed and so thankful. Y'all bless me every single day that I live. Y'all bless me. And the Lord blesses me. The Lord has blessed me first. He blessed me with my body and my health and all that I have. I'm so thankful that I that I'm healthy and I'm able to do all this and I'll do it as long as I can. I don't you know, some things kinda come along sometime that'll put you put you down like laying down and you can't get up and do what you always did. Uh, there's there's going to come a time when I'm going to be like that if I live. But till I get there, I'm going to keep on doing what I enjoy doing and keep on believing and keep on uh, having my awesome YouTube people watching my videos and just lifting me up in spirit so much and in prayer. Y'all lift me up in prayer. And I lift y'all up in prayer. I'm so thankful, and I, it's beyond my dreaming that I could ever even be right here today. Oh, I, I was going to tell you how my tomato that was around there, I decided to go ahead and pick it because that little rabbit may come up there and find it, and if that rabbit eat my tomato, I, I'd be wanting to choke him. And... Look what I got off my squash this morning. The first squash I have. And I'm going to fry it and eat it. <laughs> it's going to be so good. Y'all just have a blessed, blessed rest of the day. And enjoy your life and to the fullest. Enjoy it to the fullest that you can. You can't do a lot of things, but there's a lot of things you can do. So... We'll see y'all in the next video, and I'll see y'all then. <laughs> see y'all later. Bye-bye.